Coming your way next, we shall meet and greet our popular segment called Who's Who. The founder, director, and popular host of Who's Who is Mr. Sonny Siegel. Mr. Siegel is the CIO of Montgomery County, Maryland. This month, Mr. Siegel has alongside him a beautiful and prominent international figure. She is also a philanthropist. Her good name is Mrs. Madhu Sai. Let's meet her and discover her great works. Welcome to the Who's Who Show. This is your host, Sunny Siegel. Today, our guest is Ms. Madhu Sahi. She is an entrepreneur and philanthropist visiting the U.S. National Capital Region. Welcome to the Who's Who Show. Thank Ms. you. Ms. Sahi. Thank you. May I call you Madhu? Yeah, thank you. So, Madhu, you are um, a resident of New Delhi, India, is that yes. correct? Yes. And you're on a visit to the U.S. and it's, it's our fortune, good fortune that you're here and we get a chance to speak Thank with you. you about all the good things that you and your organization are doing. Thank you. My pleasure. So New Delhi is an area, uh, uh, part of the world that I'm familiar with, having lived there all my uh, growing years. Um, New Delhi has achieved the distinction of being a very fast growing city and has made it to the second most populous city in the world. And Madhu, I understand that the population of New Delhi continues to grow. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is growing because uh, people from the nearby, nearing states and even Furthermore, states are coming there looking for better opportunities for jobs. I see. So it's growing very fast. And New Delhi itself is, of course, um, a city of great extremes. As an example, yeah. the Times of India in September of 2016 reported that Delhi is home to 22,000 millionaires and 18 billionaires uh, with a total wealth of over 450 billion dollars. Is, is that, does that sound yeah. about right? Uh, yeah, I believe so. Yeah, it could be. It, it's hmm? almost correct, yeah. <laughs> oh, I see. But then more striking is the report that almost 50% uh, of Delhi's population lives below the poverty level. Could that be true? Unfortunately, yes. I see. I see. Yeah, so, so how, how does one explain uh, the, the huge disparity, you know, between... Well, as I said, these people uh, from uh, villages and uh, <coughs> urban areas, uh, rural areas are coming to, uh, even from the near, near, near cities near Delhi, and as well as uh, villages everywhere now, people are coming to Delhi, settling down there uh, in clusters, which we call slums. They do not have houses to live in, so they put uh, temporary houses and they form these clusters. I see. And, and a cluster is a number of communities or? Number of uh, community. It is like one community, mm -hmm. but uh, Maybe the big clusters have three to four thousand hutments. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's a very large number. Yeah. Um, and then, how are you involved with it personally? Well, uh, we are working at the grassroots level uh, with the uh, unfortunate uh, ones uh, who are socially unfortunate. Hmm. To and I ha do not have the. I would say they don't have the. <coughs> importance of education in uh, the value, they do not value the education system mm -hmm. and they do not know the facilities they can, uh, the government has provided for them. So, we work with them, we work with the children and the women mm -hmm. of these unfortunate uh, uh, needed, needy people. So, you do, do you work as an organization uh, or, we work or as, as an individual? Mm -hmm. Our organization is called Nav Abhyan which means a new venture. Oh, I see. Yeah, we started this in 1995. 
Mm -hmm. But uh, that time it was not doing uh, much work uh, outside the, like, like I would say the office. Mm -hmm. It was just providing loans to the girl child for the studies or some professional courses. Mm -hmm. But now we are actually working at grassroots level uh, in the slums with these children and the women of the slums. So on uh, a so previous segment, mm -hmm. we had represented representation from uh, Ekal Vidyale. Mm -hmm. Ekal is of course now an internationally known organization for doing work in the rural and tribal areas mm -hmm. of India. Mm -hmm. uh, it even has a chapter in the U.S. now. Mm -hmm. And of course their, their work has been laudable. Uh, literally thousands of uh, single teacher schools. Yeah, I've you know? heard about it, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. And so your work is in the urban areas, in other words, in, in the city itself. City, city yeah. itself, yeah. These are actually because, uh, as you just mentioned, that we have so many billionaires and millionaires, and all these people need day-to-day -day help, uh, helpers to help them with their domestic uh, chores, and uh, we have, uh, the men are usually daily wage workers, mm -hmm. uh, working as labor or in shops, and also they come and settle down near these affluent colonies mm -hmm. uh, where uh, rich people live. And so they come and settle, uh, make their own colonies near these affluent colonies. I see. And so where I stay at the moment in Delhi, we have these two very big slum colonies. Right outside of yeah. your very posh area. Very posh area, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we have adopted these two uh, oh, I see. slums, yeah, we are so working there. So, how many people are in your organization and you are, and what's your well, role we are, there? Uh, we are four active members, mm -hmm. but we have like 11 members on our board, but uh, we four are active members and all of us are senior citizens. Oh, I see. Yeah, nearing 70 or just above 70. Oh, I see. Uh, yeah. So, and we have, uh, we have paid staff, we have volunteers and we have, we are the founder members. I so see. we all work together and to so fulfill our goals. I see. Yeah. Meaning the the collective goals the of collective the organization. The goals that uh, the organization has set. And and previously, previously, what sort of um, what what was your background you well, before you I'm got involved? Well, I'm from the catering and hotel management, basically okay, from hospitality. hospitality industry. I see. But my other colleagues are mostly from the educa uh, educational uh, industry, education industry. I see. I'm the only odd person in my group, but uh, now. Mm, uh, I still run my businesses. Mm, I yes. still run my catering businesses and my husband is an engineer. He runs his business. And so he now looks after part time into my business also. Mm -hmm. And we all decided to give back to the society. So we thought this would be a good venture to uh, work with these uh, people who are not so fortunate. I see. And so, and so you, you actually work with um, so how, how is, how are the activity, can you tell us a little bit about the activities? Yeah, yeah. we have first. two basic programs. Mm -hmm. One is NEVE, that mm -hmm. means foundation. I see. That is the educational program. And one, the other program is NAVYA, mm -hmm. which means new woman. Oh, I see. So this NAVYA is uh, all vocational programs. Uh, we do vocational programs for the young girls and the mothers of these children. Oh, I see. So uh, in NEV we do, uh, it is uh, into education, we have a basic, uh, like a morning uh, school we have, which is like a kindergarten school for the children. And then all these children who pass out from our school are, uh, then uh, they get uh, admission in formal schools. I see. Uh, which are, some of them are run by the government and mm -hmm. some are run, uh, some go to the private schools if we can find funding for them. Oh, I see. Government has a program which is called uh, Education for All. So actually government has schools and gives free education, but uh, because they are not aware of these facilities, they don't have importance of education, their parents are totally uneducated. Mm -hmm. So we've helped them to 
uh, we help the children, we motivate the parents to send their children to various schools. So, so you, do you contribute yourself to, yes. to these yes, programs yes, yes. and so do your colleagues? We are contributing money as well as time. Oh, I see. Yeah, and, and both. And, and you're, you all are actually hands-on, in other words, you're, totally, you're yeah. in the schools in the school, or, or you're yeah, in, yeah, are you in, are you in the tenements, are you in, yes. the, in the slums? Uh, we are, we, uh, we work from time to time in the slums, oh, but uh, we are fortunate to, uh, uh, some people have, uh, two people have donated their space to us. Oh, there. So, we pay like a very nominal rent for that mm -hmm. and uh, we work there. Uh, we have our school in the evening because we have to help these children with their school programs, various school programs they mm -hmm. go to and uh, prepare them for their uh, upcoming exams, their regular uh, weekly tests mm -hmm. and with their homework. So all the, uh, now our uh, oldest students ha has reached uh, grade 10. 10th grade. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. This year he has given his... And, and they're in the pub, now in the public school. Now they're school. all in the private as well as public schools. Oh, I see. So yeah. we are looking for uh, sponsors to mm. send our children to private schools because definitely the education is at a much better level there as mm -hmm. compared to the government schools. And so are you affiliated with the larger organizations, some of the or larger yes. organizations? Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, in our other program, Navya, we do uh, all vocational work. Mm -hmm. We have courses like uh, tailoring, embroidery, uh, then we have computers. All our children have access to computers. I see. And so does the, now the mothers have come up. And you'll be surprised that in their small little six by six feet hut, hut some of them have purchased computers mm -hmm. to help their children to learn. Oh, that is very, very yeah. impressive. The, and they yes. have like a connected Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. And can you believe in the huts? Yes. Because electricity is pra practically free for them. I see. So they can do that. And, uh, and we have... Uh, then we affiliate these ladies who now are trained for being a tailor or for being a beautician or a computer programmer. Then we uh, connect them with, with, the, with commercial uh, establishments mm -hmm. and try and help them to get jobs. I see. And we also sell the products they make. Oh, I see. Like we put up like uh, small... Uh, sales uh, from time to time. In, in part of larger ex yes. ex 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 exhibitions? Yes, or in exhibitions and all. And uh, whatever uh, proceeds uh, we get, we share with them. Oh, I see. Yes. And also, we have revolving loans for girl, ch girl ch child only who want to uh, further study uh, beyond school mm. for their graduation. Uh, undergraduation programs and post-graduation programs. I see. So the mothers who are working as household workers take loans from us and they repay us slowly mm -hmm. as and when it is convenient to them. And, 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 and what is the rate of repayment? I'm sorry, I'm just curious. Generally, are you, mm, are you well, actually seeing well, that, almost that commitment from I them? would say 60% pay us. Yes, very, very Yeah, very it may take a couple of years for them to pay. Yes. But that's okay. That's okay. So the time commitment now, uh, is for you, that is like a full day every day? Full day, 8 to 10 hours. Because, because every day. Uh, you have, you, and you have other, other pursuits as well. Of course, of course. Of course. You, you <laughs> mentioned your own personal interests. Yes. But then... Uh, 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 so and I would say I'm working about 12 to 14 hours a day. I see. Mm, part of it goes uh, for this organization and then the rest I put in for my own business. I which see. I still want to pursue because when I'm earning only then I can also support my organization. How many students uh, are we talking well, about? Well, we have about 140 students oh, right now. Because Bo both, both programs, both bo projects in, combined? Uh, combined. Uh, hmm. No, no. Uh, for uh, in that case, we have over 180 students. I see. If we combine both the projects. And how how many staff or or we have uh, 18 staff members who are paid, mm -hmm. and we have about 10 volunteers, and we are then four uh, founder members. Mm -hmm. So we are working together every day, 
to achieve our goals. So now, um, can you uh, say what your, um, uh, where, where one can read uh, up more about your organization, well, we how have one our can website. contribute? We yeah. have our website. Mm -hmm. uh, it is navabhyan, uh, dot org. I see. And uh, uh, look for the Navabhyan, which works in Jangpura. Mm. I see there's more yeah. than one. Yeah, there is more than one. I see. And uh, then we have our, uh, you can contact us on our uh, website or you can see our website and contact us on our face pay, uh, Facebook page. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. This, this has been very, very informative. Thank you for being such a large individual contributor and thank you also for thank all your you. friends who and your colleagues who couldn't be here today. Well, thank you so All much. the best on your tour of the United States. Thank you, thank you. This is your host, Sonny Siegel, signing off on the Who is Who show under the Capital Forum program. I hope to see you next month at the same place and the same time.